learn how to make your species proud with the Pony Robin's personal triumph plan. You'll learn that self-esteem is all about appearances and communication. Hmm. This is perfect. You'll be able to see how I made an absolute fortune. Hold on one crumb pick a minute there. Excuse me. You. Antenna head walking towards my kitchen. Hey! What's the big idea? <laughs> the big idea is you're out of milk. <laughs> to the documentary channel. And hey! 46 of the you can't just move into someone's place and freeload. Out! Oh. And stay out! <laughs> Newsflash! My house! My food! My chair! No! Please don't! I, I, I splatter easily. <laughs> I got nowhere else to go. I can't make it in the outside world. You don't know what it's like being the runt of the family. <laughs> Everyone else succeeding, and you're failing. <laughs> Please, just give me a chance, will you? My whole life's been an uphill battle. <laughs> but you, look at you. You're living the life here. Well, I didn't always have a treehouse on Easy Street, you know. I had to work hard for the good life. Please let me stay. I could learn from you. All right. But if you're gonna stay, you gotta straighten up and fly right. You've gotta hold up your end of the place. Gotta come up with the rent every month. And to do that, you gotta go out and make something of yourself. You've gotta be aggressive. Can't be slacking off or looking for the easy way out of situations. No siree, no more freeloading. Now get out there and make your subspecies proud. You got it, mister. I'm gonna make that change. I'm off like 30 pounds on a grapefruit diet. Look out, world. This is one upwardly mobile cockroach coming at ya. <sighs> Just thinking about all the work he's gonna do is wearing me out. <sighs> Chester the Cockroach has got a job. I'm climbing that ladder of success. You got a job? You bet I did. And I made 50 bucks. Ah, oh, well, uh, good work, Chester. Now you can pay me your part of the rent. But that only leaves me with two dollars. I must have added wrong. Why, you're right, Chester. Hey, now I only have one dollar. Well then, it looks like you need to go get a better job, Chester. Go out there and work, 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 little buddy. Hello, Woody. I got a huge promotion. Everything you taught me is paying off. Good work, Chester. But, uh-oh, inflation, devaluation, taxation. Looks like your rent just went up a hundred bucks. Then there's your water and electric bill, TV privileges. Wait a minute! TV priv? Frequent user fee, occupancy payroll, and the unavoidable what's yours is mine pay now and then pay again later assessment commission. Thank you. Next! Well, how am I supposed to get ahead in life without money? Chester, have I taught you nothing? It's about appearances, networking, and communication. So get out there and make my subspecies proud. <laughs> Check it out, Woody. I got a new car with brakes that could stop a bad day. Ah, time to pay your rent, Chester. <sighs> You know, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of moving up in the world only to have to hand everything over to you. I've changed jobs more often than you've changed socks. You're a disgrace, and it's time to put the teacher to the test. You get a job, Woody. So get out there and work, work, work! Say, what are you up to now, Woodpecker? I'm gonna get a job. A job? <laughs> What's this world coming to? What am I doing? <laughs> Is 
if you can't beat them, move them. You know, little fella, you were right. I was? I got a job in real estate. And you watch me. Soon I'll be more upwardly mobile than the space program. You bet. But a bug with your success shouldn't have to live like this while I'm still pulling myself up by the tail feathers. No, sir. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell you. So, my first real estate deal is to get you set up in a house that's a home in the style to which your money is accustomed. Behold, elegance. And it comes furnished, too. But can I afford... It's not about affording. It's about investing. It's about planning for your future. It's about making things happen. It's about... Well, how much do you have? I've saved ten grand. Say, what are these walrus pictures? You know what? I'm gonna sell this place to you at cost. Sold! Gentlemen, the pride of his subspecies. You know, that little guy was right. I could be a dynamite salesperson. Work my way to the top. Nah. Cardboard is our <gasps> friend. I get you now by Yigini, you little cockroach. I get you out of my house. This is my place. What are you doing? Hey, help, help! Crazy walrus, help! <laughs> Mother Nature! Ah, uh, I'm not here! Oh, yes, you are! You can't fool Mother Nature! <laughs> Mr. Woodpecker, our report shows you are 550,000 pecks behind even the laziest woodpecker. You are being demoted to a pigeon. But I'm a woodpecker. Not anymore. Now you're a pigeon. <laughs> No! I am a woodpecker! You can't do this to me! Please, Mother Nature. I gotta be promoted back to woodpecker! Do a good job as a pigeon, and you will be eligible for a review in no time. All right, let's get this show on the road. Where are the drinks and sandwiches? Uh, uh Mother Nature told me to expect you. Uh, sit down! We pigeons have been having a problem regarding our uh, coverage. As you can see, statues are down by 23%. Our coverage on cars has maintained a, a constant increase, uh, but, but there is always room for improvement. Now let's get Going! <laughs> oh, I see. First day and you're already uh, slacking, huh, smart guy? Now you shake your tail feathers or I'll see you never get a promotion back to a uh, woodpecker. Now get busy on those statues! I knew you were a slacker from the word wood. How do you expect to cover your area now? All done, sir. That's impossible. Coverage complete, sir. Yeah, but you ain't. Uh, how did you? Oh, that has got to be a pigeon record. You're up to something, and when I find out what it is, I will see you demoted to Dodo Bird. Okay, pigeons. Starting today, the company is bringing back an old pigeon standby. We're mounting a carrier pigeon squadron once more. Hey, but this time, no more little messages tied to the leg. This is the era of pigeon delivery. Well, guess I better get going. Can't talk now. There's work to be done and no time for fun. To New York, to Detroit, to Cleveland, to Seattle, Bora Bora, Bora Bora. Oh, Bora Bora! Well, I finished my deliveries. Might as well enjoy some of that off time at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. We'll have this business licked in no time. 
Where is that good-for-nothing woodpecker? I have you now. You are busted now, mister. What is this? Well, sir, I did forget to deliver one package. It was returned to sender. Oh, you Nimrod! Th this was just across town. Follow me, and I'll show you how a real pigeon delivers. <laughs> it sure is heavy. <sighs> what took you so long, Mac? You did. But... You're up to something, Woodpecker. And mark my words, I will bust you if it's the last thing I ever do as a pigeon! Apparently, we have some competition from these guys, your swallows. They're moving in on our crumb-gathering territory. Let's show these swallows what it means to be a pigeon! Step right up, step right up. Free one-way tickets to San Juan Capistrano. Step right up. Free tickets for any bona fide swallows. Move along, move along. No shoving. There's enough seats for everyone. Yeah, why don't we do it? Let's do it now. What's your trick, Woody? Oh, just a crummy little idea. Get it? Crummy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, Woody, you've excelled in every job you were given. I see no reason why I shouldn't promote you back to Woodpecker. Oh, Joy. Oh, boy. I love my beak. I can't wait to start pecking again. I knew he'd turn out fine. Mother Nature. Mother Nature, I've got it. I've got photos. Woody's been scamming us the whole time. Oh, well, I, well but, but I've already promoted him. Yeah. Oh, well, you've got to do something. Yeah, I know. Turn him into a newt, a stink bug. How about an amoeba? No, I've got a better idea. <sighs> this is the life. It's good to be a woodpecker again. Mother Nature. Why, what a pleasant surprise. I, uh, I was just about to get to work. I've got a lot of trees to pack. Just a second. Listen, Woody, you did so well in the pigeon training squad that I've decided to promote you again. woo Another promotion. To what? Hawk. Eagle, you're bringing back the pterodactyl. <laughs> Congratulations. You are now in charge of training all woodpeckers. And here's your first student now. Hey, Woodpecker, I'm here for six months of training, and I want to get every second of it on tape. Mother Nature, wait a second! Wait, wait, wait! Don't leave me like this! No! Hello, breakfast. Hey, Wally, buddy, neighbor, Hal. Hmm, if it isn't my neighbor, the moocher. Could you possibly spare a small bite? I'm short on groceries this week. Well, sure, chump, uh, uh, Woody. I'll sample the burger to make sure it's cooked. By Yiminy. How rude of me. Wally, buddy, how about that morsel of food? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. It must have slipped my mind. Yeah! That'll fix you. Why don't you get a job and stop mooching off others? Hey, Wally, your barbecue smells kind of foul. Hello? The IRS? I'm being audited? Uh-huh. Oh, no! 
Oh, and if they see all my food, they'll think I'm rich for sure. Internal Food Revenue Service. Step aside, tax evader. According to official records, you have never, ever filed a food return. By George, it must be a yoke. Does this look like you filed taxes? Ooh, a heavy tax here. Yumpin' yiminy. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'll be the judge of that. This warrant entitles me to search your premises. Failure to comply could mean jail time. Got it, bub? <coughs> hmm. Very clever, Mr. Walrus. You've hidden the utensils, too. Quit holding out and produce the goods. I have nothing to hide. We'll see about that. Incriminating evidence. Looks like jail time to me. Uh, it belongs to, uh, the former owner of the house. The case against you is building, Mr. Walrus. Oh, uh, mm, that's my pet, uh, Little Orange. It's a half-eaten carrot, genius. That's it. <laughs> I knew it! Hard Sicilian salami! But I've never even been to Sicily. Tell it to the judge. This evidence must be treated with the utmost care. It has to be kept in this protective coating and dealt with properly. <laughs> Mr. Walrus, what are you keeping behind this door? Hmm? Try and explain this. That's not an eating ham. That's a plumbing ham. 95% for the government. Gee, no, please. I was saving that for my retirement. Explain this. Aw, oh, shucks, Mr. Walrus. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, this will cost you dearly. You're going down. Solitary confinement. Oh, no. And that will leave you with... Prison food. No! Anything but that. I confess. I've got food hidden all over the house. Be merciful. It's your audit, Mr. Walrus. <gasps> My food. Hmm? But IRS, Mr. Walrus, it has come to our attention that you are owing 37 years in back taxes. Huh? But I thought that... Uh, didn't I just... Wait! What are you doing? That leaves you with 1% of your body fat. Your account is fully paid up. Thank you for doing business with the IRS. Mmm, tasty. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Uh, hello, sport. Could you spare some food for a guy down on his luck? Sure, you're just in time. The delivery truck just came. Fresh logs with all the termites you can eat. Taste like chicken. Dig in. 